Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well and welcome to SRH F1's version of Hungaro Ring. As usual, we're going to do 12 laps around here, but this time we're going to use the newly updated F1 2013 cars by Frenkie. He's implemented the Formula ISI chassis and tyre changes. He's also done some uh, aero tweaks and some engine cooling tweaks. So, really fun car to drive, quite challenging. Uh, let's see if we can get through 12 laps. I've done a qualifier where I placed second out of 24, 22 cars. So let's get this underway. I'm in Kimi's Lotus as usual. Or rather, Kimmy's car as usual. Let's see if we can stick at the Hamilton. Of course, Kimmy placed second here in 2013. Let's see if we can correct that. Oh, I think we've got three wide then. And Weber's got past. So we can go around the outside, we can. So I'm still using my AI tweaks from the last couple of videos, but obviously uh, the 66% aggression really kind of shows here in these cars. I don't think I'm going to start flying away on these guys, that's for sure. Especially if I do stuff like that. Notice that my, my foot is just constantly hovering over the brake pedal. Can't really relax here, it's a little bit like the carts. A little bit of a tap from Weber. Really got to make sure the car is um, kind of straight coming out of corner 12. Just wants to light up. He's going to try and tap me. No, no, no. So when we get DRS down here, we probably should um, be topping out well over 300. Breaking right into that corner. As you can see, very tail happy on the, uh, the hard compound. Wow, Weber's really pressuring me in, in the Red Bull. You think all the track. A bit of neutral throttle there. Really difficult chicane that one, I always struggle with it. to turn 12. Very easy to spin the car out there. Astro turf on exit is extremely slippery on all the corners. Just got to be very careful. I always seem to be able to get the power down a lot easier out of the corners than I can on the hard compound. On 24.5 not too bad on the hards. Try and guard that inside. It's a quite a history of racing in Budapest. Um, Nepaliget was, uh, was used all the way back from 1930 to host the Grand Prix. The first Grand Prix there was 1936 from memory. Um, street circuit and then uh, during the war went to uh, Budapest oh sorry during the war there was no racing obviously but after the war during reparations there was uh, racing for about three years at the uh, Budapest airport and then after that it went back to Nebligat um, and then continued all the way through the early 80s there um, and then they decided that they they wanted a purpose-built racing circuit so they uh, picked a site about 18 kilometers out of Budapest and um, started construction in 1985 um, finished finished uh, for the uh, 19 oh, 1986 uh, the Grand Prix was held there and um, obviously famously um, 
Nelson PK1. <clears throat> Very difficult to pass here. Not concentrating at all. It's only, um, there's only been three circuit configurations here. Um, the original build um, actually changed the circuit design during build because they um, they hit an underwater underground spring. So the original S's were put in place during the build to uh, work around the spring. Oh, I'm just not concentrating. Sorry, guys. And uh, the circuit was then changed in '89. And they fixed the spring issues and got rid of the slow S's. And then the change happened again, or rather the circuit change happened again in 2003. And we've been running that circuit since then. Um, so this straight here was extended down to turn 12. And the 12A kink here was put in. And then, oh, it was going to try and get me before I can tell you where the other track change was made which was the extension of this straight and the change of turn one hairpin. So the straight was extended and this much tighter hairpin installed. Wow. Oh, he's having a crack, he's having a crack. Extremely difficult um, right hander there in this car. So tail happy. It just wants to let go there. It just wants to let go kind of everywhere. It really wants to rotate on you. I'm running the preload all the way down on this. It's one of the first kind of mods that I've really had a crack at. Um, using Z1 Analyzer and Dash to try and work out where the car's bottoming out on, on track. Work on my braking um, and throttle. And try and minimise the, the gap in between. I might, uh, might actually do a little video on Z1 Analyzer at some stage once I get the hang of it. I don't know why I'm hitting DRS. Oh, he went for the big dive then. Guard this inside line. I was using soft so I'd go flat out through there. Just can't do it with these hards. You just feel it wanting to rotate on you. Broke a little bit early then for the chicane. Not a bad line through there though. all the track. I'll put a little bit of space on Weber then, which I'll no doubt lose through this section. Sorry guys, just trying to concentrate. No DRS for me. As you can see, he's reeling me in now. up there on the uh, the right front. Just saw Weber in the mirror then just drop his DRS. Run a little bit wide. Using all that circuit there, just don't want to have that car rotate on me. Same there. It's uphill. 
left ha right hander there it just constantly wants to slide on you it's basically the tyres if you're running anything under the hards it's quite a sticky car Moving quite cautious through there. You can feel it go slide then. Oh, big mistake, big mistake. It's all started to rotate on me. I'll let the cars do about 45 minutes worth of practice and learning. DRS makes a huge difference. I love the aesthetic of these 2013 cars. I love the narrow looking rear wing on them. we've got left. We're going to look at the moment. <laughs> oh, let's run wide. Let's let, let, let Weber catch up. It's so easy to make a little mistake in these cars. that's given him an opportunity now, he's got DRS, he's within three tenths, he's going to go for a dive here I think. I think we've got a better run though there, even though he had DRS again. Tires seem to be sticking quite well. Gotta say, I love the way SRH F1 update their tracks every year. groove. So we've got a decent exit here. Okay, put a tenth on him then. It's going to get it under DRS though. tents. Point two seconds, what happened? Whew. Okay, 
one second. Lost a little bit of time then. Tenth lap. It's a really technical, engaging circuit. It's not one I've raced a lot on. Oh, Weber's catching up. Lost that sense of urgency then. My footwork's getting a little bit sloppy too. Get it together for these last couple. Okay. okay here we go. Last lap. Oh, broke way too early then. That's uh, left the door open. Close that corner up on him. Okay, three tenths off me. Have up a huge amount of time. Last time through my least favourite chicane. Time down to turn 12. Down the hill. No lock up there. And the last time through the last corner. Here we go. Onto the straight. Whew. Wow. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, uh, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and I will be sure to upload more content soon. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> See ya.